It's a great honor and a privilege to introduce Bianca Goldman and your maiden name was Eberzon and you were born in Poland? In Poland. Uh, in in the town, oh God, that's, it's, the name of the town is Bielsko. It's very near to the German and Czechoslovak uh, border. And in what year were you born? Pardon? In which year were you born? In which year? In 1930. Wow. So I am 91. Canaan Horror. <laughs> Bianca, if you could just mention a bit about your family, your parents. Yeah. So my, my, my father, I don't remember where he was. My father was a... a Advocate, or how do you say it? Uh, attorney, no? Ad yes, advocate? A doctor of, uh, of uh, law. Or law, yes. And uh, he was born in Yaroslav, but la he studied in Krakow, in the, in the in University of Krakow. My mother was born in Krakow, and uh, he was, my father was serving in the um, in the Austrian uh, military, because Poland was not existed then, it was divided be between uh, Austria and and Ukra Ukraine and uh, Germany. I don't remember. And also Hungary, Austria, Hungarian. No, no, no Hungarian. Oh, no, no, Hungarian. no, 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 no. <laughs> it was uh, in the east. It was. Uh, uh, Ukraine, I think, yes, it was not Russia, it was Ukraine, and then it was uh, uh, German or, 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 or Austria or German, no, German, German and, uh, uh, and uh, Czechia, Czechoslovakia. And I was born there near to the border of German in Czechoslovakia, and a lot of people spoke their German. So my, f uh, for my, uh, Five first years, I spoke only German because because my my sister was very small, two and a half years, and my mother it was ill her for her to, to have a daughter of two and a half, but and then the newborn baby, so she take a, a nurse to be with me, and for five first years until the, my sister went to the first class to school. She was she um, was my metapellet. She helped around the house. Yes, and speak, she spoke with me German because she didn't spoke she didn't speak uh, uh, Polish. So up to to five years old, I spoke only German, and then when she went and um, I spoke with my heart me, me, with my parents Polish. And uh, so I forgot a lot of German. And Yiddish? Did you speak your parents Yiddish? Yiddish, no. Never. Never. Oh. never. My, my both parents, father and mother, they knew Yiddish. But, they ne but uh, at home they, they never used the language, language no. My, my father uh, served in the uh, Austrian army. Then Pol uh, Poland was divided. And he was there, and he was a, a force officer, because uh, uh, whoever was uh, uh, had a, you know what is matura, mat maturation, if you got it, okay. so he, 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 he automatically he is an officer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it was then. And in your home, did, was there a big Jewish community in the town? In, in my town, not a big Jewish community, no. No, and we we were not uh, religious. My my parents were not religious. At home, we spoke only Polish. And at the beginning, I spoke German because of the metapellet. Because yes, the 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 that she spoke to me German, but then I spoke Polish with my with my parents. And uh, when I went to school to a Jewish school, but not not religious. Mm -hmm. It was free, not religious, but there were only Jews from, from uh, yes, it was boys and girls, yes. And, and it was a Jewish school. This, that, this is what I remember. And it, it was uh, up to 
In 39, the situation with Hitler came to Czechoslovakia, and my father spoke, he had his speeches from Hitler, and what he, if Hitler was in Czechoslovakia already, and he was very afraid, very, and we, he, uh, uh, my father was in contact by telephone with his brother, a lawyer too, in Lvov, you know where it is Lvov? No, it is uh, East Poland, now it is Ukraine. Ukraine. Mm. They spoke together and they, they knew the situation, political situation is very bad. And um, his, his brother, the, the elder brother, taught to him, take your family and come with, with your wife and two daughters, come to me. Because I don't, I don't think uh, it will, no, you, you can liquidate everything at home and co come to us, we have a big uh, um, flat, I will give you a big room, one room for four of us, uh, for you, so my parents and my sister and me, and I will, I will buy two big beds and something that I don't, remember what oh, I, 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 a little bit I remember and come to me and we came to my uncle with the last train for civilian purpose because it was only uh, already uh, mobilized all, all the uh, soldiers Polish soldiers mobilization was in the, the uh, they announced that it's the last train to Lvov to Ukraine for the uh, uh, for people not for after when that it will be only for the army and we took the last train for for us and we went to our to my my, my uncle and uh, we stayed there with him with his with uncle and and, and uh, aunt uh, one year. Did you leave just before the war, before Poland was invaded in September? But you, you left before September? Yes, yes. My, my town? No, when you left to Lvov, it was before the yes. war broke out in, one in Poland. Before. One week before. One week before. One week before. One week. And we arrived to Lvov, you know, to my uncle to Lvov. On the 1st of September, when the first uh, aeroplanes with bombs came, with the last one, they announced that this is the last train for civilian people to go to Lvov. Afterwards, there were only soldiers. And to the last one, we went. And we came and we stayed with us in Lvov with my uncle. Who, he gave us a, a big room with two beds and the table so we it was our <laughs> our palace <laughs> and Bianca can I just ask when you left your town did you have friends that you were close with or me, me I was a child I was I, wa I were, went to school you were nine at this time I was nine so but I went already to school and I have a few girls friends was it difficult to say goodbye to your friends or no it was tap, 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 very quickly. And did you have any other family that remained? In, Poland, in our town? In no, we town. have no family in our town. No, we have family in Krakow. It was the family of my mother. But that we left our town, Belsko, to Krakow. In Krakow we stayed one week with the family, with the sister of my mother's sister. And then with the last train for civilians, we left to Lvov, the big, big German Lvov, to uh, to the um, to my uncle. He was the brother, the big brother of my father. And then we, we prepared everything thing for us: a big room, a table, big one that we can to be comfortable and to to to, to feel comfortable there. And then we, the, there we stayed for one year. The, the war started, the bombs and all this, and, um, and then it was quiet. 
It was only one week with the bombs, one week, no more. And I remember suddenly it was quiet. No bombs, no aeroplanes, nothing. And the, and the people down to look what happened, what the quiet, so. And then they saw the Russian came in, the Russian military came in, and they were, my father was very glad, glad that there was not, weren't Germans, only Russian. So it's fine with us. Not everyone was so glad, but my father said, okay, I am very happy that there are Russians and not the Germans, yes. And we stayed there for one year. It was, was, it was quiet. I went to school. My mother, uh, how do you say, Rashmauti. I went to school and my father, I thought that he was an attorney, an advocate. He had to work and to, to earn <laughs> money. He, he got a job in a, a he was a cashier in a shop with ice creams. <laughs> yes, yeah, there he had a cashier with big shop with ice creams. And I remember that when I, my sister and me, we we came there and we got the ice cream without paying. <laughs> we were very happy. <laughs> and when we went there, so they did the best. Of, tell what you want to the best of big Porsche of ice. And I remember. <laughs> and then it, it was quieter. And then in radio they announced that it will be a, a, a Otzer, how do you say? That the people are not allowed to go in the evening out. Like a curfew. A curfew, yeah. yeah. We are not uh, allowed to go to, to the street and uh, if you have to some to, to arrange some things okay during the day but not in the evening and the same uh, so okay so we stayed at home and uh, in 1940 uh, at night it was in, in, in last day of August, I think, or, or July, maybe. There was, uh, there was talked about the door at the entrance. And then came in an officer and a soldier, and they have, it was written whom they are looking for. And it was my family too, not only me, not only our family, but from the same house were all two families. You have 20 minutes, and uh, you uh, and they said something. You can take with you the 20 kilos, or I, I don't remember something, and go down, and down will be a, a car, and you will go. And my mother said, "Where are we going?" And the soldier, young soldier, states to my mother, "I don't know where, but very far away, but I don't know." And my mother said, I have two daughters, the children, what can I take with me? Because they said 20 kilos, something, not much. And she said, nobody will look at you, how, what do you, are, are you taking? I am, I am sure that we are, uh, we are, they are sending you, you will get nothing there. So take everything what you can. You, my mother said, maybe uh, I have a matter, mattress now, now there are other, you know, mattress, uh, you sleep on it. They have, the, my mother had, I don't know, so I met her that you can do it like this. Now this is, you can't, the car. I can take two mattresses, yes. And two pillows, yes. And two blankets, yes, take them in the big, uh, uh, where you are cooking soup, yes, a big a pot, like pot, a big yeah, pot. pot, I will take it, okay, take, what do you want, nobody will look at what you are taking, what do you want to take, because you will get there nothing. So my mother took a big pot, and uh, for, um, a place for soup and for each for one, uh, everyone has a, a, a calf for a soup to eat a spoon and my mother took one one knife 
to, she thought it, she was very clever. She was so, you know, you, you, she re realized suddenly in what situation we are. And um, so she had a knife to, 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 to clean the, the, the <laughs> something. And to, to, and to what, what did she take out? I, I don't remember all, but I, I remember the two pillows and two, two mattresses and two covers. And uh, maybe it was uh, ah, and then she's. I was nine years old, so big, big child. I was big already, and she said to to the soldiers that was uh, looking at us that we can't uh, uh, run away. I want to go. My daughter wants Pippi, you know, mm -hmm. to the, the toilet. I have to to arrange to to to, uh, to help her. Nine years old. To help her, people. Also, okay. Oh, he was so young, so he, he couldn't. Done it. He didn't know that they came about me. And she went inside with me, and there he. She put something, probably money, or maybe I don't know what, because I was very excited. She put me here, and all on this. So you know, <laughs> and this. And she said, you "Don't see, say anything. If you want us to make Pepe, I will go with you. Don't go but make don't, by don't yourself. Go. Came by her, by herself. Tell me, I will go with you. Okay. And uh, so we went downstairs. Downstairs already were a lot of people, like us. And what's uh, it? A truck. Transport. It was the, a truck. Everyone on the truck and they to the railway station, one of the railway stations, big one, and they told us to go down and we're down and to stay here and in, with the group, the group that we came to the inhabitants of the building or... And my mother was very, she told me how to say, it, it was very, he thought very practical. He, he thought, if they took us, Probably they took two family, two f families. One was an engineer of something, a couple with a son, and one was a, a, a doctor medicine with a, uh, with a girl and a boy. Well, and uh, she went. He asked the the soldier that was uh, looking for us that we not don't run away. I have my sister is there. I want to be together with my sister. Please let me go and we look for her. Who we'll said, okay, I, I, am, I have to have 40 people. <laughs> if it's you or you, <laughs> that doesn't matter. And she went, in. Anka, Anka. Wow. We were three families together, the whole world. She was also, my father was an advocate. It was one was a doctor of medicine and one was an engineer. They, and they sent us and in a, a, a it was a, a train, not for passengers. It was a transport, for, uh, you know, like like. Uh, uh, how do you say it? It, it was not a train normally. It was ten for for um, like a cargo that you put. To, yes, for cargo, for cargo or something. Yeah. Yes, it it was. We came there. It was a, uh, no seats. It was nothing. Here he was uh, for right and left was they did something like a floor, something. And two, uh, um, we not windows. It was like you could uh, the, the the air come in, not mm -hmm. windows with glass, but uh, you can close it or open it. And in the middle, with with uh, was a hole, and a, like sinor. Uh, you know what this is? Like a pop. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was for all the people. So the people organized that they understood that, that, that 
there are men and women and women and children and uh, you don't know how long it will be so they arranged it somehow to, to, to they took something like that I don't know what uh, to make privacy a little bit like this and they sent us children up it was for us nothing and the grown up were down and we went and then the, the train started to go from time to time they uh, stopped they, uh, they opened the, 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 the door of the train and uh, in, in the middle of nowhere like this and uh, they gave us what they gave us in a, a some kind of soup, they call it soup, something. And what was? And they said that the uh, uh, people, the grown-up people, if somebody wants to go out and not to do everything in, so they can go out. But but if they were looking on in the, with with the revolver with the <laughs> with the. <laughs> rifle or rifle? How can I say it? Rifle. Well, well, yes. And uh, so we arrived. Well, we went. I think it was three weeks. We we went there. Three weeks on the train. Three weeks on the train. Yes. And they gave us soup. One a day. One a day. Two days. One. Uh, I don't remember. I think once a day. I don't remember. And uh, then the train stopped and they said to go down. We arrived. And Bianca, can I just ask, this was already going into winter? No, 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 no. It's middle of summer. It's middle of summer. Middle of summer. Yes, it was in July. Uh, July, July. Yeah. yeah, something like July. No, oh, uh, July, okay, yes. middle of summer. Yes. And did they, what did you do with all the time on the train? On the train? What, what could you do for the three weeks? You could, uh, you could uh, sing. You <laughs> could speak. You, what, what can you do? Is that Nothing. Sure. Nothing. We were with children. We make fun of everything you make fun. But we were children. I was nine year olds. My sister was 11. And there was another boy, uh, my very good since then uh, girlfriend. She was one year younger than me. In her brother, her brother was smaller. And there was another boy who was one year older. So we spoke and we laughed. Uh, children. Yes. It was something, suddenly it was not at home. We have not, no, no one had so his bed. <laughs> and it was fun for us, for our parents, it was not yeah. fun. Did you have enough food? I mean, they only gave you a little bit of soup. You must well, have they, been... They, the train stopped and uh, they opened the, the door and gave a... Dlee, you know what is Dlee? Uh, bottle there you go with wi my with uh, water yeah and there was soup and they gave us a little bit soup so we ate the soup if you're un hungry you eat everything yeah were you very hungry and then uh, afterward I was hungry <laughs> I was not so very hungry <laughs> my mother took uh, uh, some uh, some food because they say that soldier that uh, was watching us that we are not running away, he said, I don't know where are you, they are you sending, but whatever you take with you, uh, it, this is yours. And they are taking you very far away, and I don't know what it will be. Take, you can take some food with you. He was very nice to us. He was 18 years old, 19 years old, but he knew that there's something happening. So we, we, I told you, my mother took two mattresses, two pillows, and two blankets, and a big syrup uh, pot for doing uh, soup, for what again? And 
she was very, very practical, uh, thinking practically. Wow. Yes. And then there, the train st stopped, and they told us to go down, and, uh, and we went, they, there came uh, trucks, and some people, they went, took some people we don't know where to, in the town, and after us we, we understood that they, there were, were barracks, you know what's barak mm -hmm. came. Okay. They put there separately women and separately men, and it was full. And we stayed on the railway station, not only we, a group, group of people. There was so full that they couldn't put in more. So after, I don't remember how, how, much, how many time it was, uh, but uh, they came, it, they told us very near to the, uh, Marcele Homrimiar. The forest, near the forest. Forest, forest the yeah. forest. Yeah. Very near to the forest where was a street. And there were small houses, new houses. In, in each house was entrance from this end and from this end side. And each apartment, it was like you come in. To, uh, to a very, very small split place just to come. We understood after the, why it was so, because there was minus, minus 45 degree, so that it has to, you can't come inside, so so you can come, close the door and open the door, and then you are in the kitchen. And there is a beach, you know what it is, pechken? Pechka, where you put, you make, yeah. you can, uh, um, it's like a fire. You can make a fire to make a fire to yeah. keep the the room uh, warm, warm, and you can do to 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 cook. You can to cook. cook something, yes, and uh, and it was shun, clum, nothing inside, and we are two families, seven people. We are four people, and uh, our friends. They are uh, uh, a couple with a boy, one year more than me. And they stayed, so what are we doing? It's nothing, you come in the room, nothing. So I, and it was very close to the forest, very close. So I said to, I, I was a child, nine, 10 years old. I said to them, maybe you go to the forest and maybe they have some, some um, hole, uh, wood. Maybe they're, they're building and maybe you have their... Marcel, jak się mówi deski? How do you not... You can do from this... Uh, uh, you can make wood, like a, a wooden floor? Uh, no, floor, it was floor, but to sleep on. Oh, a like bed. A, a bed? A, a bed. bed. A bed, a big one for seven persons, one. Ooh. A bed, and we had our two, two we, uh, my, fi my family had two pil pillows and two mattresses and, and two blankets. And we, and, and we, we were seven people in the one room. And there, yes, and there came the start the winter. And my, my father got to work in the uh, forest. The doctor, the, the, the medicine doctor, Bianca, did you know that you were in Siberia? Did you know where you were? It, oh, yes, it, it, it was, uh, in the, you know, you see the map? Yes, there are uh, Ural, it is uh, the stripe of, of uh, um, mountains from the, uh, from north 
to, to uh, you. And on the right side, there is taiga. You know what is taiga? Mm -hmm. Yes, taiga. And, and this Asia. And on the left side, it's Europe and uh, what was it? The Ukraine and Poland and everything. And now, uh, and we have been there. When they sent us to Krasno Uralsk. It's a town in in her in Ural, and we we stayed there for one and a half year because we we were uh, we couldn't leave in in the small town we were uh, we could go where we want to go. We I was I went to school a Russian school. But my father, that he was a, a, a attorney, advocate, the, a, 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 at the beginning he was in, he worked in in a wood in in again in the forest in a forest, and then came the the minus forty degrees, so it is impossible. So they he went to to a building to to a big room, and he did. From the uh, from uh, he was uh, uh, from wood. The, he had to build something, and th there were Russian. They knew, and there, and they saw my father that he he never had in a hand a hand. A, a <laughs> He showed something. A hammer. <laughs> yeah, and they they helped him. They were Russians, and they were very nice and very good. And they helped him. And then when you, they knew that we were sent, that we are some, there we are not free. And he, he said, to, I, I remember to, up to, to 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 today, they said to him. And now it's good weather, but it will be very cold, and you will be not. It will be impossible to go out at night. You have to go something, yeah. pee or something. I will build for you. I will show how I will build for you something that can, you can do. But at night you can put it in the room where you are. And to put there a, a buckle, you say? Yeah, yeah a buckle. And in the morning you will throw it away. But you can't at night in minus 40 degree, you can't go out. It's impossible. He did it for us. And, and he built it for my father. And then he said, do you have children? And my father said, yes, I have two daughters. I will show you how to be. Thank you know that the children are sitting and they're going down on the snow. A stage. Yes. Not ski, that's yeah, Sanki. But it, this he built for him. Wow. He was a very good Russian, a very good person. And for us, it was, you know, the, the, the Beit Shemush, what they, they did, it, that is a big thing for us. But what are you doing in minus 40 degree? You can't go out at night, but you must. Yeah. And, and we were two families together in one room. Oh, wow. And Bianca, did you learn Russian very quickly? Pardon? How did you learn Russian? You just picked it up? When you went to school, you had to, it was yes. in Russian. So, uh, at the beginning, I didn't understand nothing. They spoke and I... <laughs> <laughs> I remember that uh, I, so, so I went to school and uh, I didn't understand everything what they were speaking, so I was born. How do you say it? Bored. Bored. Bored, yeah. And I, I wanted to go home. What, what I'm doing here? And I saw that that a boy or a girl said so. And the, the teacher said, "What do?" You? And he said like this, "Galavabalit." It, it is very similar to Polish language. That it means uh, I have headache. So I wanted to go home. I said, "I said what is?" I said, "Galavabalit." <laughs> It was not true, but he, he said, Galavabalit, go home. <laughs> so I went home. <laughs> I wanted to go home. <laughs> I was not, 10 years old. I didn't understand anything there. They spoke, they did nothing. 
But after words, I, I learned Russian and I spoke perfect Russian and went to school. And then in 41, in 41 started the war, it, uh, the Germans, uh, between Russia and German. They invaded, Germany invaded. Invaded, yes. And then they saw that we are not... Uh, oh, we, uh, not enemies? No. Nah. You're not enemies? They are that, that we are not... Uh, 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 enemy, you're not enemy. Enemies. Am, we are not, we are not enemy. That they, they can, and they released us. They, they said that if you want, you can go where you, you can't go back to Poland because Poland finito, <laughs> no Poland. But if you want to go uh, to to uh, use, there is sun and warm and there will, will be probably rice to eat and probably some fruit because here is nothing it's everything is frozen and uh, then we three fam families what i said to you we they our parents arranged it that uh, when it the med uh, weather was a little little bit better so we took with three parents, uh, families together. We hold together all the war. Oh. After <laughs> when the war finished, so we separated, and uh, we went to the railway station. And to, to uh, my parents, to, to my parents, all the parents, yes, bought the ticket, ticket, where the, uh, to the use, go down to use, use, yes. South, not to the south. south, to yeah, south, and we went to uh, some station. We had to cross the, to, to change the train, and in the train, my 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 sister, she was twelve years old. She suddenly was very very ill, very ill, and we couldn't take her out of the train because we have nowhere to be. So we went with the train mm. until the train stopped and then they say from the train, now the train is going back. We can't go back. We have nowhere to go back. So we, with my sister with a high fever, very high fever, and the two, three families, families together, we went down from the train we don't know what to do with ourselves. So they come, uh, a, a big truck, and they took Ed, us to a small colhouse or something, small town there, and relieved us and said, uh, brought us to a, a, a big room, and it was an official something. There was not only tables. Okay, my mother and father, they took my sister, she was very ill, and they went with a truck, with a, I don't know what, a truck, to the town in Kyrgyzstan, and they went to, uh, to um, there was a hospital, and my mother went, and father went to her, uh, to the hospital with my sister, and I left, was left with the, with the friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, my mother went with my sister there and she was with a high fever and she didn't know what to do, what it's happening with her. And look at her and the doctor said, you, you must leave her in the hospital. You can't take the, and she was 11 years old, 11, 12 years. You can't take her from, she must be here. And I have to give her the injection of serum because you know what it is, diphtheria? Yeah, yeah. She got diphtheria. Wow. She must get it, Mickey Vance, otherwise you have no daughter. So they gave it and she, they put it in a bed and they took a boy that was already better out of bed. My mother taught me. No change of this, nothing. Wow. Wow. And she 
inside can, and they they were used to to they, they used to to take out. They didn't want the, the children to have the n n n nice or the lice lice skin, so they wanted to take a, a head. And she was twelve years old. We, uh, she started to cry. I don't want. I want. I don't want. And I will be with the with the car. so like with the some the scarf or something. And they the the sister there, the nurse said, okay, but they will. I I I am responsible for that. That I that take it. You must like this. So she, if came control, they think that they don't, you don't. <sighs> You don't want to be with that house, so like this, okay. My mother sat with her the whole time, and I was with the friends. I was with the friends, and we, we got a big uh, uh, office and a big room, and there was a big uh, table, and uh, and and they they badly. Uh, I was with them. With the, the friends, our and my my parents were with my sister, okay. and uh, I probably I, I I got it from her because I felt bad, and I got a high fever, and this and my my father came to visit us and me and he said he looked at me. What's happened with you? You are ill. You you you, you have temperature. You are ill. You, yeah. I has the same what my sister. But I I had to go to injection. They, they call it serum. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to get to that. So so the the doctor that was with us went to the hospital, took the injection. He said, "I am a doctor. I will give her the, this because otherwise, if he she is he, is coming here in the hospital." He's, she's finished. She will not survive. I will. I will give her the injection, and so it was. Uh, and I remember. I don't know why. I was ten years old, a big girl, and I lie down with the popo up, and he gave me the injection, and I am crying and shouting. <laughs> I remember it. Why I was so shouting? I don't know. But th this uh, this I stayed there uh, alive, yes. And my father came and looked at me. I, I probably I looked very bad. We, um, <laughs> he says to me, why, why, "Why do you look so bad? What is happening wow. with you?" So they <laughs> they said she was <laughs> the same what what the, her sister, the big one, but but the temperature went down. And the doctor that was with us gave me the injection, and we, this it, this was the, the the help me. I w went out of it with my sister too, sister too. Thank God. Yes, and when she was better and I was better, and the, the, there was nowhere to, nowhere to be. We have been be in a room of an office, and I lay on on a, on a table. And they, and I don't, what was it, a truck or something? So we, with the truck, went to the big city, big city of Kyrgyzstan. She called it called Jalalabad. And we went down to the Jalalabad. Prior to Jalalabad, we went to Tashkent. Tashkent, you know, yeah, it's a big town, yeah. yeah. But there was no room for nobody. It was packed with many emergency people that are running away. Refugees. Refugees, full of refugees, nothing. And uh, but they somehow from the they went. I don't know who arranged it. We went down to the town to the Jalabad in Kyrgyzstan. And looked and and they found there a small room in a in a you know the houses where they're born uh, it uh, it was from a mud you know they make a <laughs> the mud yes 
and this, this was the kibitka, you call it kibitka, and one one such a room, they, and they, uh, it was a um, how do you say window, but you can't open it. But it gave, uh, but they, it was um, light. The light, the it light can't came in light, and the, we got one like this. And they, they arranged, I don't know how, two beds, uh, beds. And we had the two uh, Mizronim to, to... The mattresses? Hmm? Yeah, the two mattresses. Mattresses. Two mattresses, two pillows, two, two blankets. And we were happy. It is very easy to make happy people like this, very happy. <laughs> so we... Oh, and then my parents uh, found this and to, uh, somehow we went there and uh, there were yes so then uh, and they had to take uh, to take my sister from the hospital because she was not the uh, perfect but they had no temperature and no that and uh, they released her and they brought her to the to the kibitka and he lay down on the bed. My mother like this near near the, the, the her legs, and I with my father. Uh, in, in, in the, uh, my cousin she was all big already. She was um, I was uh, eleven. She was twenty five, twenty six. She was grown up. So my father and she and me on the second bed. I didn't understand why, but they laughed that I must lay uh, between my father and my uh, uh, cousin, because she was a young woman. I, I am there like a, a straw, and they laughed. So I didn't understand <laughs> why they're laughing. <laughs> It was nothing clever. I was some sort, of, but Emperor said that I am the la the straw <laughs> to separate my father from <laughs> from her. Okay. And uh, and then in Kyrgyzstan, in in the the the, uh, the houses they call them kibitka. Kibitka is from uh, the. They built it in, in very quickly, yes, and, and we from there we got my my, my parents uh, found a kibitka that was free for uh, for fair, four persons. It was a kibitka. It was a, a, a window you couldn't open, but the the light came in and uh, a door. And, be, uh, and in the front of the door, there lay a very big cow. And she wanted to be there, only there. And you couldn't <laughs> take her away. So for me, it was very, very, very funny because I went on the cow and stepped to the room. My mother was not very happy with it, my father, no. But I was very happy, it was fun. <laughs> Do you have such a day? No. <laughs> On the cow and uh -huh. down. So, and then we stayed a very, very long time. Uh, and I went, it, uh, went to school from the Kibitka. I went to school, my sister too. I don't remember what class, I think the four degrees maybe. In for, for, for class. Uh, and Bianca, did you make friends with the Russian girls, with but the Russian children? Did you make friends? You made friends? Uh, friends? Yeah, you yes, made friends? I have, yes, the Russian children, the Russian girls were my friends. And did, did they know that you were Jewish? They, they never spoke about it. Nobody spoke about it. And you never told them that no, you were no, Jewish? No, nobody asked. No. 
Nobody else could. They know where I he spoke came from. perfect Russian. I learned wow. child, you know, very quickly. I spoke very quickly. I learned uh, so. Uh, they knew that I am Poland. I, we were their Polish. Polanim. 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 We were the Polanim. And nobody asked. There were Jews, Russian Jews. But I was not Russian. And, and you, they knew that I am from Poland. So I was Polonia. And they were Jews. And did you meet? But I, I never said that I'm not. That nobody asked me. And did you did you meet any of the Russian Jews in the town? Pardon? Were the Russian Jews living in the town? Uh, they came from Europe, from the Europe oh, okay. part of Russia. Okay. They came because they, they um, start the war started. They were also they refugees. To, yeah, the Russian came and the Rus and Jewish came, Jews came, and so I know that to our town there came some Russian Jews. And did your parents, did they mix with them? Did they have a, cash, no, a connection? No, 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 con no contact. No contact? No, no. Wow. No wow. contact. My mother, there, it, there was a, a very hot uh, climate. It is uh, hot at summer and quite cool at winter. Quite cool, a lot of, of uh, rain. I went to, to Russian school. I have my best friend was a Russian girl, a very sweet girl. She was the daughter of the di director of school. Wow. Yes. And uh, she was my best friend. And I was there, nobody asked me. I was there, Polonia. I was the, from Poland. I was the Polish girl. But I, not, not that the, I didn't want to say. Nobody asked me. And did you have to go to church? Did you have to go to church? Or no, was there, there is very sorry. It was not communist. Synagogue, no synagogue, synagogue. And there's also communists, so there was no churches. No, no, no. Yeah. Afterwards, uh, yes, but uh, then uh, no. It was no. under. It was but the Jews, I remember, we were there a group of Polish Jews, and then I remember that it was. Yom Kippur. I remember it. It was Yom Kippur, and you can. My mother uh, was. Uh, how do you say? From post, she didn't eat. At she Yom was Kippur. fasting. Yes. So she she had to prepare. She prepared something to eat, and I remember she pre prepared. She she made she was a specialist for it. She made gefilte fish, but not from fish. There is no fish, but from the uh, say like you know the, you you you're bo making a barst mm -hmm. from this uh, white because she knew how to do it and she made kale kale you know this make it, she called it gefilte fish. <laughs> So she called it, and I remember it was very, very uh, confusing uh, because she prepared this and she put it on a, 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 a plate. It has to be cool. And somebody came to her from from our uh, the, the Polish Jew that. Uh, you know, like us, mm -hmm. and he saw this, and he was so hungry. He so he didn't know that my mother sees it. She 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 sees it. Who took one and put it in this? I, you know what it had, yeah. and he was from a very good family, from a very noble family. My mother thought that, and she, my mother did it for each one. It was two or two wow. pieces. I don't know. He couldn't say him. He, he couldn't say him give it back because it will be not enough for us. He couldn't. He took it and, and said shalom. Wow. I can understand him, and they can understand and my wow. mother. Does they remember? She told us. And she got a, a she got a, a job. They were a boiler. There was a, a 
fabrikanje u tom novot. They made a very good confitur from the white, from what do I do in Borscht? Polish you say Buraki. Selek. It's a... Marcel? Yes. Echo mrim v Anglid Buraki. You, we are, we are, if you boil uh, borscht, how do you call it? No, I can't tell you, no, it's no, fine. No, never mind, never mind. From this, there was, uh, uh, they boiled it and to, did from this a confitura. Mm -hmm. Confitura. And I remember that from time to time, uh, they were, uh, the, 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 the workers were, could take home a small amount from the confitura. And my mother brought the confitura kazot from the Selec. When we had, the, there was no light, it was no electricity, nothing. She brought it and uh, my father was uh, working away from this town and we sat together my mother my sister and me and she was this and we have each of us had a uh, spoon and we ate it and we said, it was delicious it was so good and you feel the the this you know the this is very good in the morning we saw what what was so good it, uh, there were the pszczoły, uh, it was the, uh, what is uh, the, this, uh, the making uh, um, honey? The bees. Bees. When they bo boiled it, it was sweet and there was on the beans ah, came yes. <laughs> and they boiled. And we thought it's, it's <laughs> and then my mother said, never mind, it's, it's, you, you, we have no uh, meat. So it will be meat for us. <laughs> so we have a little bit meat. Mm -hmm. So nothing happened. So I have some some stories, funny stories. Yes. And I, yes, you know, we have been there for five years. Five years? Yes. It, 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 it was 40, 41. And we came back in '46. And what did your father do? Did your father find work? Uh, yes, he, uh, yes. In in when we were in in Siberia, there in Oral, he was in wood, and then he he couldn't be in the wood because of the minus forty, so the, he built uh, <laughs> he built from uh, from the wood. I don't know what they were building something for us they will be for the children he did it and she did the, um, i t told you she yeah. he did a uh, toilet yeah. at home it was a very big and very very important <laughs> furniture for us and my father then the 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 the, the, the rich russian organization he got a job he got a job there was in this town, in our town, uh, was a fabric. Uh, they did uh, shoes, but the leather for the shoes was made in another town. You have to go with the train to there. You can't send this. You can't send the shoes, and you can't send the. the, the the leather because they are uh, stealing it. Mm -hmm. You can't s send something because they will steal it. Yeah. yeah. So my father physically had to be with the <laughs> with this <laughs> with with the shoes and with the <laughs> he physically had to go with them. Nothing happened. It 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 was his job. 
Wow, it's amazing. Yes. And do you remember when the war came to the end? Do you remember? Yes, yes. Because I went to school and we have uh, each uh, morning all the children of the school were in the, in, on the, uh, some, some place, you know, where... Like assembly, maybe assembly, where you all assemble? Yes, we were there, and there he, there was a big map, and uh, who, uh, who explained us where the army is, and how it is advancing or returning. Uh, the returning but all each each morning all the all the, all the children were out and he was explaining us how it is it was going like this and then retreating <laughs> they retreat <laughs> yeah retreating, they were retreating yeah, yeah. And, uh, they say remember and uh, I remember there were some, some you know, you news from from mouse to mouse mm -hmm. that there will, will be a possibility that they will uh, send us back to Poland. There may be the, the, to prepare, and we have to prepare some. The, 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 it is a journey of, of, of uh, we don't know how much, it's a one week to go with the train or something, to prepare something to eat, because we don't know how it is. Uh -huh. It's not a luxury that, that you have a, a train with, who <laughs> <You> can, <laughs> you can <laughs> so to eat there in a restaurant. <laughs> uh, so and I remember that, that my mother prepared something for, for the for, for the journey back, and they made some. I don't know what she prepared. She prepared something, but she took also a a pot and uh, some some uh, potatoes and some uh, maybe carrots or something to make on the way. To to, mm -hmm. to 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 cook something when the train stops if we you, you are always asking how long the train will wow. be staying here something it was one hour half an hour sometimes it was four hours you'd never know you never know so we stopped and my mother not only my mother everyone they went down quickly 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 and when we heard so they took that and then ran with this boiling <laughs> to the to the train and went in inside with this. But it was not she, not only her. The over you have to eat something. Yeah. And so we we arrived. It was a very hard and a very a very hard journey back and very depressing. We were happy, we were over happy to go back to Poland. Uh, Israel was not existed, sure. yeah. But, but to go back Bianca, to did you know what had happened in Poland? It was, we knew that the Germans were in Poland. But did you know about the camps or the extermination camps? Or no, we, did you have any only knowledge? When we, we heard, I don't know how, uh, that uh, there were camps for Jews. We didn't know that, that, that there was a crematorium. We didn't know. We knew that it was uh, uh, were camps, working camps. When we arrived, then we opened our eyes. What what happened? What where was? did you did you go back to Krakow? Pardon? When you came back to Poland, where did you go? Uh, we one night we have been in another other town in Katowice with our. The, there was a family that was with us in Russia, but his uh, their the, uh, sister of him was married with a Pole from a German uh, family.
and she stayed in her flat, in her apartment. And they, I remember at the, uh, until today, we stayed on the uh, railway station, and they said they are going. He, they, they knew that the aunt is alive, and she stayed at her apartment. And uh, we stayed there on the tra train station, and there came the boy. Bo come with us, they are inviting a youth for a dinner to eat. For a dinner. Where? No, I will take you there. We came there. Suddenly, a normally flat a, a table, white cloth, and service, plates for soup from this, and besteck, you know what's besteck? A knife and that's oh, wow. so super. I look at it. I sit there, and I, really, I come from a very good family, really for very good. But I, I am asking my mother, mommy, what I am doing with it? I don't know what what I am going. Sit, this you look like what are doing the 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 grown ups and do the same. I can't not now because I had only a. a a calf, I and they have a calf, a knife, a work, a small calf, and a small. I have never have it. But look, you did the same, so I did the same, and it was fun that I am explaining to that I am speaking about it. There in Kyrgyzstan. We have a kibit, because it means a, a, a room in a, you know, the, it was not a building, it was from, 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 from earth, like this. And the, the toilet was out. Yeah. We have to go out there, and there was a hole and they do something to separate it, and they And we come to, to this, to Poland. And I, I I have to go to, but I forgot I was a child. I forgot, the, I, need, I, I, I need to go with me. So they said, that, you see this, this door, there you go. I come in, I can't sit on it. I can't. So, if you can believe me, but believe me, I'm telling you the truth. I stand up with white meats wow. on the toilet, and then I could do what I had to do. Wow. I was so, I was very small, and I came back, I was already 16. Wow. 15, 16. So I, I, I couldn't. I stepped on it, on the toilet, stand at it. I close the door, so nobody will see it, because I was ashamed that I'm like, like a... Bianca. And very thin. Select the beat. Ma? Beat. Select the beat. Select. Shaldoti Selek. Ken. Buraki. No. The beat. A beat. B-E-E-T. Beats. Beats. E okay, beats. A B B E E. B-E-E-T. Yeah, it's a beat. Ah, uh, beat. It's a type of vegetable. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a beat. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, <Ms. K>. yeah. <laughs> you Thank look for it. So, Daraba, Marcel. Yeah. And then, Bianca, when did you find out what had happened in Poland, how bad it was? When we came back. Immediately. When we came back. We had... Who, to who told you? It was Kyrgyzstan. We heard that there was where in Poland were camps for Jewish camps, and that, but we we didn't realize that there were the death camps. Yeah. We, the, the, nobody can it, the, realize it. something like this. There were camps. We thought it was for working. Yeah. But, yes, but not. not, not, not you a normal normal uh, you can't comprehend it's impossible you, you, to comprehend you, 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 you can't understand you, you 
it is impossible that you do it like a factory. We realized when we came back. When we came back, we found my, my uh, cousin. She, my cousin. She went through this, and she went and it. She stayed alive. Wow. And she started to, ex to tell us what 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 was it the camps and what was we d we couldn't believe we thought that she is uh, imagining that, that it's impossible. She's crazy, yeah. And where was she living, your cousin? Pardon? Where was she living? In which town? Where? In which town was she living? Where did she live? In which town? Where did she stay? Before the war. It uh, and, and after the war, where was she before and after? Before the war in Krakow. And after the war? Uh, after the war. No, they didn't want back to Krakow. No. One, one, uh, one cousin went to, to France. And the other I don't remember. Uh, one one cousin, yes. Now she was. I was the smallest one. They were uh, grown ups already. Mm -hmm. One was married, and she was a musician. She was a pianist, and she married with the man who was a uh, violin playing. And uh, they were were communists. And they were one. They were very glad that the, glad that the Russian came. And they ran away, and they came to us to to, give, to say shalom to us. Wow. They are going there to Russia, and they stayed alive, of course, <laughs> because nobody. They, they say they say remember. Uh, the I have such a chaos. Wow, I know. And Bianca, when you came back to Poland, yes. where did you go when you came back? We came back with the with the train. And we went down from the train in a in a town Katowice. We went down with the, we were three, three families together, and one family was from Kadet Katowice. Uh -huh. So we stayed. They say, "As stay here on the sta railway station, we will run very quickly there, and we will see what 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 uh, what to do." And then we stayed and were and. Uh, waited for him and then the boy came uh, they gave him a trou normally trousers because he probably looked terribly that he was too big for him he was like <laughs> to hold it like the my aunt is inviting you to evening to evening okay so we came there a normally flat big one big one and a dining room, big table with a white uh. tablecloth, with service, with everything, a uh, knife, a knife, and a, and a cuff, and a small cuff, and a small this. And I am sitting like this, and I know, don't know what I'm doing with it. Like uh. a girl from, 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 from jungle, I don't know. And I asked, I, I told you, I asked yeah. my mother what I'm doing with all yeah. the, you look, sit still. still and look. was this the first time they gave you a good meal? This is the first time that you ate, that oh. you ate a proper meal? Pardon? This is, you ate a very good meal? That night you had a, they gave you good food? Can they, they yes, normally a, a, a dinner, it, it, it was soup and, and I don't know, I don't remember. Wow. Uh, we ate food. And during the war, did they stay in the apartment? Yes. They, and they, they weren't this affected? This family stayed in the apartment because he, uh, the, the aunt from, of, of, of our friends was married with somebody from German and they didn't touch him. Wow. He stayed with his wife. And he was Jewish? No, he was German, but the, the aunt of our friends, she was, his wife was Jewish, wow. but they didn't touch her because of him. He was an officer wow. in Germany. And they didn't, did they, they didn't touch, no. Did they, they know, did they know they that she was that Jewish? She, they knew that she is Jewish, but he was an officer and he, they didn't touch her. Amazing. Yeah. 
and, and she stayed alive. And what happened? Did they remain in Poland? Can, uh, when we returned, they were in Poland, but afterwards, I don't know, I think they left Poland. We went, my family, we have there, the, we, we eat, uh, ate the, the, the dinner, and for me it was exciting. <laughs> and uh, we went to our town, where I was from. And uh, we came there, I remember, with the... <laughs> You see it in 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 the in in film family. You know we have like this, and all our things were this, and we made it like this. It's <laughs> like a, a refugees. Refugees. <laughs> Refugee. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Of course. And then we then we we went we went to to our town. And my parents' parents said me, to me and to my sister, stay here on the railway station. We will come to fetch you. We will see what we can do, where we can sleep the night. We have to sleep somewhere. And we stayed with my, with my sister there. And after her, they went out and I don't know whom they asked. There was, they, they did it very quickly, they organized it, some Jews that stayed, there was their organization, and they said that they can give us a, one big room, a flat from one, one big room, and it in the something, I don't, I remember it, it was a room, there was gas that could, you can, uh, you can boil on it, there was a, 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 ambatia, a, bath? a tube, a bath, some combination from a, a, a bathroom in, a, with a kitchen. I, I don't know. This is what it is. And there were two beds, two beds, and one table with, with, with chairs and, uh, and a toilet, a room toilet to get, that was closed. I remember it. My, my we stayed there, and my father went down, and he met some friends, and and there was a telephone in the room, but we didn't. We have nowhere to to, to, to whom you have to telephone, nobody. But somehow my father said to my daughter, I met friends. To my your friends, sister, your yes, sister. And I in, invite them to dinner. My I was sixteen, and my sister was nineteen, ninety half, big, big enough. I am inviting them to dinner, so prepare a dinner. I will give you money. My father said to my sister, my sister, what can I do? Do my I give you money buy whatever you know, knew, uh, need, and make a dinner. I will come here with somebody. She didn't know. He th thought the, the most fantastic, what she could imagine, were sausages. <laughs> so she went and <laughs> bought sausages. He, he knew how to boil it. Sausages in it, eh? with mustard, and it was a dinner. <laughs> My father was a f sometimes he was uh, he didn't stand on the on the, this. My mother yes, but my father was wow. some <laughs> And then and, and, uh, he, he opened his office. Wow. You know that my father had the office of advocate, you know, who, and his secretary was. And we came back, and it is. It was not a big town. Now it is a much bigger. Mm -hmm. And then people knew who is coming back from where. And suddenly came his secretary, my father's secretary. He heard that we are back. He came with a typing machine. When when the German came in, it 
in the beginning it was quiet. He went, she had the keys. He went to the office, took the, the, wow. the typing machine. The to top part, uh, Yeah. And then she heard, heard that we came wow. back. He came in there, said, Dr. Robertson, I have this, I will work for you without money because you don't have money. You can't pay me. But at the beginning, I will work for you with my money and you had the typing, <laughs> typing machine. And really he opened the office and, and started to work and slowly, slowly he had a big, uh, he succeeded then. And what happened to your apartment? Well, oh, there's some uh, people were. Uh, I was I, I I was with with my husband. I went to see my apartment from the, before the war. And I remembered it. I was a child, but it was big. It was big enough. To remember. And I said to him, you know, I will I will I want to to see it. And we came to my to my town, and I went to the I I could remember the address. And, they, and, and the, uh, on the second floor it was, and they rang it the, and somebody opened me the door. So I said, excuse me, you don't know me. But before the war, I told her that I was born there. I was not born, but came there when I was five or four. So I told her I was born here. And up to the war, I, want, I, I lived here. Don't be afraid. I don't want the flat. I am not in, uh, coming uh, to take you from the flat back. I don't want. I just want to remember. I just want to come in and to remember the, the, my flat, what I saw. She said, ah, come in, I will show you. And I came in where I said, ah, yes, here is a, and here is the kitchen. And here is a small room for, for the Ozeret, uh, how do you the, say? Help the nurse. The nurse. Yes, she. And there, I remember that I was just, and, he, I, and, it, and it was closed. And uh, but it was shall, shall communist when we came back. I said, but here were three rooms, big rooms. It was a dining room, and we called it a music room because there was a. a Center. A piano. A pia pia piano, no, the, the piano big. Wow, a grand yes, piano. Yes, piano. And a salon. I said to her, here were three rooms. Where is it? It is closed. Ah, yes, she's, it was already a communist. <laughs> she said, these are uh, uh, separate uh, um, apartments. Wow. So I said, but, but there is no kitchen, no. No, they, they arranged, uh, now they are normal, much small apartments. <laughs> and was there any furniture, any, any of your furniture no, left? No, no, nice. no. I think the, the, the dining room, I remembered it. It was, I don't know why, but it was black. A black big table and a black buffet. Wow. And, it, and this was black. This state like it was, wow. and the other one I I don't know, I I didn't look inside and I don't know. But I remember I came in into in the kitchen, and I said to her, "But here is the, uh, how do you say it? Where you prepare and you buy things and you then and you keep it in a small like a, a grocery room." Grocery room, like a grocery room. Oh? Grocery, like a grocery room. Yes, you prepare it in a grocery, I can mix it to the com kitchen, com yeah. Confiture, and mm -hmm. whatever you have, you, you is this is wow. close there. And there was the room from the other, from the uh, maid the, the, that was, the, the this nurse. was a separate room. Wow. It was a nice, small room, but a nice room with a window, with the, the I said, here, here is a room. Yes, this is a room, with, but she can get, he must need a room, but uh, it uh, was somebody left there. 
she must not go through the uh, kitchen, she goes through there. Wow. And, so again. and was it very difficult to go back? It, it, was it, was yes, it, it very, was very for, emotional? For me it was very exciting. I went with my husband and I, I said to him, I am not, I am not asking to, to take wow. it back. back for you don't me. want to reclaim so You no. can be quiet. I am not, I just want to remember. I was a child and now I am married and I'm a grown up and I don't, don't live in Poland, I live in Israel. I just want to look at it. Uh, so, wow. Maybe you want to eat, I, I smell no, it. Bianca, can I just ask, how long did you stay in the town when you came back after the war? Oh, in the, after the war? After the war, how long? So, so we left in, in on the other department, department because but this was... For how long? How long? Oh, no, I want to scale school. In Poland? In, yeah, of course. I was in Russia, I, uh, in, in Uzbekistan, in Kyrgyzstan, I went to school. Uh -huh. And I finished there eight classes. So, we, uh, yeah, I have uh, two classes to matriculation, to go to university, ah, okay. two classes. Okay. So when I came back, I knew that I want to learn. I don't want to work, I want to learn. And I ask where is this, uh, where is the school, uh, somebody, and say, they said to me that there is a gymnasium for, for girls and there is a gymnasium for boys. Okay, so the gymnasium for girls. And, uh, and this is a good one. And one is mixed, uh, but it is a little. And so I went there. And they told me that I must uh, 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 pass examination. So in w in what uh, subjects? Um, Mathematics. I said I want not not uh, not humanistic. Uh, no, only realistic. Realistic or oh, mathematic, physic. I know geometry. But I must to to, uh, to foreign language and Polish. So. Polish. I said Polish. I speak Polish. They spoke with me Polish. It was perfect Polish. And the, the Russian language uh, was for me very good because I could write without mistakes. And, uh, and then they said me, but they learn he here, they learn now English. You can choose between English or German, no, not German. English or Russian? So I said, I take Russian. I take Russian. Okay, you have to pass the examination. Okay, okay. But when uh, well, the, the teacher came and he asked me something, I opened my, my mouth, so I said, thank you. Because I spelled perfect Russian. Russian. Wow. Perfect. So I was, I knew Russian better than me. So I read two minutes, so okay, okay. And so I, I went there to school. For how I, long? I made uh, two years. I made uh, uh, matriculation and I wanted to study medicine. Me, oh, I wanted, it was my, my dream. But, uh, you know, it was after the war. Yeah. And during the war, when Germans were there, uh, the, the universities for Polish uh, was closed. Nobody could learn. The, the Germans, uh, yeah. Jews were nothing, but Germans are Polish. Uh, mm. Mm. Well, uh, now, they enough that they know to, to, to write and read and a little bit mathematics, it's, it's enough for them. Yes. <laughs> and Bianca, did you have any, from your Polish, the, your friend, the girls in your class, did, the, the, the Polish girls, when you came back to school, yeah. did they ask you where did you go during the war, that you were Jewish? Did you have any anti-Jewish feeling from the girls in your class? No. Not? No. Yeah, I never kept it in, in the, the I, I, you know, in Poland, in, in this region when I, where I am from, there are Catholics or Evangelics, mm -hmm. there are Evangelists too, 
Protestant. And I was the Jewish. I think I was the the Jew, only one. Oh. And when when was the the religion? You know, you have mathematics and you have mm. Polish and history and yeah. da, 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 da. and uh, and there is uh, what is this religion ish. So religion once I I was what I am going to do religion for the, 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 um, a priest is what I have to do. But there was a, a group of girls that went out. So I asked them why they are going out. Ah, because we have our priest. Uh, they are evangelists, uh -huh. not Catholics. We have our priest. We have uh, our lessons. Okay. Then they have the lesson, but I didn't want to. Be <laughs> why, why are you not coming with us? We are not. You were not there, and I said because I'm. But I didn't look Jewish. Ah, okay. I was blonde. Uh -huh. They, 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 they never dreamed about it that I'm Jewish. So I said, no, I, I am Jewish. You are Jewish. Yes, I'm Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> so I will, if I have to have a, a note, you know, for for the teuda, for the thing, so I, I, I will arrange it, I will say, I, I will learn with the rabbi. <laughs> so my mother went there, and the, 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 he knew my mother very well. He knew, he knew what a family, I was re really from a very, very good family. and unreligious, totally. And my mother talked to him, my daughter Mess, uh, is in school and she had to uh, got the uh, matriculation and it, it, she has to have uh, wow. uh, religion. And she's not going Shama to the priest and not to the evangelist priest as I, I I have, you have to give me for her a, a, a note, something. He, he knew that we are anti-religious family, mm -hmm. anti-religious. So he, sa he said, okay, I will give her <laughs> very good. <laughs> wow. He didn't want to spoil me the, <laughs> that I will not get the, the matriculation. Wow. And Bianca, did you have any anti-Jewish feeling? Were any of the girls anti-Semitic or did you feel any anti-Semitic? At school? At no. school? No. Not no. at all? No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, at the beginning, they didn't know. I, 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 I didn't look like Jewish. Uh -huh. And then they thought I'm Evangelist, like the group of Evangelists. And then and I, say, I said to them, I am Jewish. I am Jewish, I am not evangelist, we are not Catholic, I am Jewish. But I am not religious. No, they could not, it was, uh, everything was okay. And with the teachers also, no problem? No, I never felt anything uh, uh, at wow. all. And your father, when he established no, he his, his office? And, w and went to, okay, people knew that he was Jewish? Pardon? Did people know that your father was Jewish? Of course. And it wasn't a problem? No, nothing. Wow. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. And how long did you remain in Poland? Oh, we came back from Kyrgyzstan in 46. Yes, in 46, in April, something like this. And we went in 1950. I was two years after the school, and I told you I wanted to learn uh, medicine, mm. but it was full, of, full, you know, all the uh, the uh, the medicine was very uh, university was full of people that wanted to learn, yeah. but Germans didn't allow yeah. to to open the university school. Pol uh, Polish people, if they uh, uh, know how to write or treat a little bit uh, it is enough for them to. Uh, well, it's not like this. Wow. Uh, it's, uh, it's my husband. Oh. Okay. Marcel, ty strasznie przeszkadzasz. 
And Bianca, and you came to Israel in 52? Pardon? You came to Israel in 52? When you left Poland, you came straight to Israel? When I, uh, with my parents, we, we, yes. You came here? Yes, we came to Israel. It was a very small, a very short time when they allowed us to come. At my time, when we left, there was such a... They were anti-Semites. Um, um, uh, they gave us a, perm a permit to go out of Poland, to go to Israel. It was only Israel. A, they made a list what we can take with. It was a list, you know. You can send yes, one pillow for person, one pillow, one one over, and how towels, and now this. What do you have? What I had on me? It's okay. It's okay. But I can have one one skirt, one trousers, one blouse, one the one the. It was written everything what I can take with me. So I was, I dressed like in Purim because I'm <laughs> I, I have trousers and out on this a skirt <laughs> because otherwise, what was on, on me? It doesn't count. So I have trousers and on this a skirt, skirt and the blouse and only with shorts and and the blouse and the, and the sweater. <laughs> and then when we we pass the the the, the 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 examination of this, what we have, I told you that. Wow. <laughs> After what uh, the all the Aliyah, next Aliyah, they took everything. They took uh, um, furniture. They took yeah. uh, um, how do you say pianos? Everything. everything. But you and couldn't we, take. We, we nothing. Well, they took everything. Everything. Like imagery, wow. Wow. And Bianca, you must have remembered. When the state was established in for, when when the state was established in 1948, you must have remembered when you heard that there's a state of Israel. When, when the state of Israel was established, yeah. you must have been very happy to hear that there's a Jewish state. Uh, yes, but I was, you know, I came from Russia, and I was happy. I was over happy to be out of Russia and to, to be in Poland. I spoke Polish perfect, I speak up to, to, up to day perfect, and uh, yes, I know, I was not excited. I was very happy to be in Poland. I had friends in Poland, uh, girlfriend, girlfriends. Yeah, I have even uh, how do you say it? I was uh, very young, and maybe I was uh, I was nice. So from the um, in school they make some sometimes a uh, How do you say a ball? Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, they invited me to 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 uh, to dance with them, the ball. and they, I, I I was over happy. Yeah, I can see. Was it difficult to leave Poland? What the difficult in what kind? In 1952, when you left to say in goodbye. 50. 50. Well, in 52, when you came. No, 50. I, in 50, when you came to Israel, was it difficult to leave? To leave Poland or yeah. to come here? To come here, was it difficult? Were, were you upset to leave Poland? I, I was excited. I was. I had their friends. My friends, good friends. But to say goodbye, was it very difficult? Yes, but I said goodbye because I knew that I have to leave and I I, I didn't know. No, I was, I think I was very, very um, glad to, to, so nobody say to, no, never somebody said to me, you're Jewish. Wow. Jit, never. Nobody said it to me. And I have, uh, I didn't look like Jewish. Mm -hmm. I didn't look. So when the class made a, a ball, 
know, they invited and they you. invited the the wow. I was in in gymnasia shel, shel, uh, of girls and we invited the the uh, boys the, the same thing. And they invited me to to dance and say nobody asked him I'm a Jewish or they're not Jewish. It was it, the the children, the Jews, it's not subject for uh, them. And Bianca, can I ask in your family that remained in Poland, did did a lot of the family die in the Shire? Yeah. Like yeah. grandparents and my, in Shire, the, yeah. You lost the, nobody. You lost a lot of your family in the Shire. Yes, my uh, yes, yes, yes. My aunt, the sister of my my mother's sister, with uh, she was she was very uh, religious, and she married with a very very religious person. I remember him. I never saw it in my uh, my. Uh, she was from Krakow, and in my town there were no. Uh, no Kyle is such, such very religious people so uh, I remember I, I was so so naive I remember now now I remember that I was I went to a Jewish school my parents uh, uh, told me that I uh, I went to Jewish school, but the old everything was in Polish language. Only was Bible and Hebrew, <laughs> but uh, mathematics and, and Polish and, and everything was in in Polish. The, and it, it was a private school. Probably it cost much a lot of money. And but I had no idea what is the difference between a Jew and a not Jew. I don't, I didn't and know. How, how old were you? Ma? How old were you? Nine. Nine, okay. And uh, I went with my mother uh, to buy, I think, fruit or, or something. And there, uh, the owner was afterwards, I, I, I realized, my mother taught me, was a Jew in a kippa uh -huh. with peyot. You put it like this, kaha. He spoke Polish, very good Polish. And my mother bought something, and I said to my mother, uh, uh, yes, and I said to my mother that in our class there is one girl that is uh, Catholic. My mother said, it's impossible, it's a Jewish school, private, they paid for me a lot of money. <laughs> impossible. Ima, everyone is speaking about it. This this girl is, is a Catholic. What's his, her name? And I said something Jewish, so Jewish. Minja Goldberg, my mother said. How do you know that she's uh, Catholic? All the class knows. All the girls are speaking about it. Okay, we go to to. I am going with my mother to buy some fruit. In the state, state uh, uh, owner of it is a Jew, is a poet, and the keeper is a. I said to him, Ima, Mama, this is the father of the Jew. <laughs> 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 of the, yeah, yeah, of the, uh, of the uh, Catholic girl. Uh, my mother said, who? Not this, he. He, he is the father of the Catholic girl. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I had no wow. idea what is the difference. Wow. No. Wow. It's amazing, Bianca. <laughs> it's amazing, it's <laughs> Matzchik. Wow. It's Komish. <laughs> Oh, hey, Bianca, this is wonderful. I just, it's so special. Sure. <laughs> okay, I just want to thank you, Bianca. Um, my, my, my. Okay, Bianca, I really want to thank you. Um, Bianca, you know, listening to your story, not your story, your life, that your father knew German, so he could understand what Hitler was saying, and yes, that's why yes, he decided yes. and his brother that they have to leave.
The many miracles, so many yeah, miracles we, in the story. We left, but in the last minute, the we last left minute. To, to his brother. Wow. Yes, but it was in the last minute. Last minute. That's yes. incredible. I mean, yeah. Thank God you left. Thank God, but there were many miracles. There were, you had yeah, many there miracles. Are miracles. Many yes. miracles that yes. you survived. That. Yes. That 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 they decided to send you to to the um, to. Um, to the Urals and to Siberia, they could have left you there in the Vov, and then um, it would have been no, terrible. No, 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 they they are took everywhere. But it was it was a, a miracle that they took you. It was a good thing. Yeah. Because if you wouldn't have gone to the Urals and Siberia, look what happened to the Jews that remained in the Vov. If you yeah, are you yeah. But, it was but also a for, we thought it is very, very bad for but it was, us. It was a good the, thing. The, the, to Siberia and yeah. the, the, the temperatures. But they and saved But itself, of course. Wow. Of well, course. Bianca, <laughs> I must tell you, meeting you and meeting your dear husband Marcel, for me it's been the greatest honor. It's good, I Dorma, really, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm so grateful to you. <laughs> and thank you and, so and, much. And, and, you, you are doing doing it, what for? For yourself so or I'm, for your, your giving it to? To hear your story and the people all over the world can hear it. It's so important. It's so important. But you are giving it to somebody. No, no? it goes it's on YouTube. You? It goes on for everybody. For everybody. But who I always asking it for? Anybody Just can watch. Anybody. Ah, ah, and they can learn and they can appreciate and they... They can see the miracles, yeah. and it's so inspiring. And your story is so I, to think I, that you, I, it's amazing. You are incredible. You're so such an amazing person, Bianca. And I'm so glad that I, I met I'm you. I'm sorry for my English because yeah. I spoke much better English. But now I'm speaking with my my husband. I'm speaking Polish and Hebrew and Hebrew and Polish. And then I have Elzer. Your English she, is. She, she, I'm speaking with her. Hebrew and Russian. I still uh, you still remember the Russian. Pardon? You still remember Russian. Yes. Yes. Well, Bianca, I'd maybe stream till 120 in good health. Thank and you. Happy, and thank you so much. Thank you. Well, wow, Bianca, this was very, very, very special. I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, Bianca.